what we're really showing today is actually our, our latest product, the QA9, which is an analog to digital converter. Yeah, uh, you'll be able to store any of your analog sources like tape or vinyl to your computer at 24192. So it's a, it's a it's a great solution for anybody who wants to make an archive digital copy of any of their analog stuff. You know, a lot of people are doing that today. They're buying very expensive cartridges. They have uh, irreplaceable records, yep. and they're afraid to scratch them, or they're afraid that yep. somebody else is going to touch their tone arm and a needle's going to fly off the other end. Yep. So they're, they're uh, that it's it's real smart product. Or, right or, or uh, in the efforts of preserving your analog collection, so you're not always wearing down your needle and your records. That's right. Is a great way to handle it. That's so, right. Yeah. No, we think there are going to be a lot of. Uh, as of yet, still unknown uses for the A to D, but we've already figured out a, a great many that are, are going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, point it out to me, please. It's, a, it's this unit right here. Oh, that's nice and small and tidy. Yes, it is. I don't know if I can get around the back and take a look at it, too. Of course. And what's the rest of the system? Uh, the rest of the system uh, consists of, well, we'll start at the uh, sources. We're using uh, Bauer DPS turntable with the Benz LP cartridge on board. Yeah, that's a great cartridge. That goes out to, of course, our P5 phono stage. The power supply for the turntable is down here, the DPS power supply. It's a three phase power supply. Mm -hmm. uh, our digital source is the DX5. Uh, we're actually using the onboard USB DAC, which is similar to a uh, slightly upgraded version of our QB9, which is a standalone USB DAC. Of course, it uses asynchronous technology. The line stage preamp we're using right now is the KXR from our R series. It's our state of the art solid state line stage preamp. From there, we go over to the amplification, and we're going to snake around here, viewers, and look at the cable runs. As most everyone does today, they're up on risers. Okay. What do we have here, Alex? Our amplifier is actually the stereo version of our MXR monoblocks. It's called the VXR. 200 watts per channel. They're actually a set of monoblocks inside of one chassis. I was going to say, it kind of looks like the same size of the monoblocks, but same, yeah. Same yeah. form factor as the monoblocks, but it's actually, it's actually a, 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 for, for, for reasons of fit, it's actually a more, a, a more I guess, furniture-friendly I understand, item. yeah. Still, yeah. We still consider it a reference level amplifier and it's been getting great reviews. It actually just recently got a review in Soundstage magazine about which we're pretty excited. Oh, about. that's great. I'll have yeah. to read it. Yeah. And you got the Bandy 7s. We're using the Bandy yep. 7s. Yep. Set up lovingly by Richard himself. Oh, that's good. And that's, that's our system. Well, I was listening just a moment ago and the sound is to die for viewers. So next time you're thinking about an air system and you're wondering what Vanderstein 7s sound like, I know, and I'll be telling you as we move along and more reports from avshowrooms.com. Thanks.